Hello, I am Janie Buckland with the West Virginia Few, West Virginia Families United for Education, and I'm talking today with my friend Doc, Dr. Miller, um, with Kleine Class Ashula. And um, Dr. Miller, why don't you just go ahead and start us out by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you founded Kleine Class Ashula. Thank you, Jamie. I really appreciate being here today. Um, well, I founded and ran a Christian school for about 16 years in Little Washington, Pennsylvania, and then I thought I was going to semi-retire, so when I did that, I got a little bored, and we started a tutoring center in the small town where I live of West Alexander, Pennsylvania, and in that, um, in that process, I decided to call it Kleine Klasse Schule, which is German for meaning small classroom school. Now, kind of the reason that I did that was people look at it and have no idea what it is. So they have to ask the question, what does this mean to get the answer, which is the philosophy behind having a tutoring or learning center. So um, in that time, it happened to be right in the beginning of the pandemic. We actually found it before the pandemic, and then the pandemic hit. Um, so we were able to open up remotely and have online services for kids who might need help with their homework or with any kind of academic learning that they might need. And I am really blessed to have a really strong staff of multiple different professors that are in the area and that are not in the area, but that can be available remotely to help with anything from kindergarten through some college level courses. So um, currently we just do by case by case basis. So if somebody um, contacts us, we can either meet with them in person if they are close by. We are actually right on the border of the Northern Panhandle, right beside Ohio County, West Virginia. Matter of fact, we're only a mile across the border, so we're really close. So we have people who come from Ohio County and from Brook County, but also from Washington County, Pennsylvania. I love that. So my next question is going to be, who can you serve? And I'm already thinking, <laughs> you guys, you're able to serve students from multiple different sectors. Yes. And as a matter of fact, when the pandemic hit, a lot of people were displaced and, and needed additional help. And that's where we really found out how global we could actually be. We even had international students who were, you know, tossed out of their schools because they had to either go home. Um, we had one little girl that we were tutoring from China. Um, so, yeah, so we have a lot of different capabilities, but we go from the old school, little classical classroom that we have at our center to global. And then what are some examples of how you serve these students? You, you mentioned um, a student from China. I'm assuming you're, you're able to tutor them in a variety of subjects. Can you give us Absolutely. some examples of how sure. you're serving those students? Sure. I think um, there's such a vast array. The biggest way to find that out is to take a look at our website, which is kleinaclassa.com. It uh, has our list of instructors there, but if you don't find something that you need, then just let me know. And I'm, I always have a network of people who will say, hey, if you need a student having any help with this kind of area or that kind of area, I can connect them as well. Um, but currently I have, for instance, I have a couple uh, young kids from high school who are coming in because they're getting ready to graduate and they want to make sure they have all their ducks in a row and have that GPA as high as they can. So they just come in for homework help. So that's part of what we do. Um, so they can bring in any subject that they need. You know, it always helps if they give us a little heads up beforehand. But uh, even if they don't, we're usually fully equipped to be able to help them out. And um, if they have specific uh, subject that they or topic that they need uh, help with, if they do let us know, then I can network with with the person that they that they might have there so and so you offer in person tutoring as well right so not just yes, online yes. but if, if somebody yes. local there they might be coming in you know after school hours yes. working with them on their schedule 
Yeah, we have some students from Wheeling Park High School, which is here in the near the Ohio County. Um, they will come in with different homework help problems so we can help them out. And, you know, we have young kids, we have high school kids, and we have some college kids that are in universities in the area. The pandemic hit them hard as well. So a little extra help um, from anyone who can resource them. My background is in curriculum and instruction. I have a doctor on curriculum and instruction. Um, I've been a professor. I teach teachers how to teach. I teach mathematics. I have a pretty good um, array, again, of resources, even just from when I taught at the different universities at Wheeling Jesuit University or Washington Jefferson. I also have colleagues there who, you know, who can help as well. Yeah. And, you know, one need that I'm noticing more and more is with high school students as they're preparing for the ACT or, you know, in, Absolutely. in West Virginia, they, they do the SAT in 11th grade. So I Absolutely. imagine that you would really be able to help them with studying the content. Yes, we have a lot of test prep um, programs that we do, particularly with the SAT and the ACT. The SAT is a little uh, more involved in this area, but as you know, you know, geographically depends on where you're at, which one they concentrate on. We help with the with that as well. And the other area that we had been working on too are GED. So we've had people come in. Uh, matter of fact, the first student in Kleina Klasa was a 30 year old who wanted her GED. So that's kind of fun too. So I love that. It's never too late. I am um, never too late. Ju I am just over that 40 year mark. And I will admit <laughs> that I have no higher education. And I attended an ACT prep class here a couple oh, of weeks ago and I learned. Yes, it was an interesting assessment of how much I do not know. So it was good <laughs> for me to sit in there. It was humbling to say the least, but it's never too late um, to be learning and, and to apply yourself. So I love that you guys are willing to work with adults as well who are seeking Absolutely. that. Out. We can go to kleinaclassa.com. Is that right? Mm -hmm. for, yes, ma'am. Um, for more information. And then um, just lastly, is there anything else that we need to know about your tutorial and how you serve those families? Um, maybe tell us a little bit about how you find your teachers who you work with. I have so many teacher friends and because I have been involved in universities and colleges and I was a public school teacher for 11 years and I ran a Christian um, school for 16 years. So you know, with the social media that's out there now, you stay in touch with everybody. So it's really quite easy to get connected with the different uh, teachers that we need. If there's a specific topic, let's say, for instance, somebody needs help with Hebrew. Well, I don't have that background. So that would be something I would definitely have to outsource. You know, it's it's not too difficult to go out there and say, hey, anybody have this background and connect them. But I would say every person on our website is at minimum a good friend of mine, if not a close friend of mine. So I like to make sure I, I know uh, the people that I am outsourcing. So I know what kind of quality I'm giving out. <laughs> right. Well, I know that our audience is going to be viewers there in the tri-state area, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. If you're in West Virginia and you are um, looking to apply for and utilize the Hope Scholarship Program, I know that Doc Miller is well-versed in the Hope Scholarship and intends to be a provider, right? You guys are going to serve yes. our students. Yes, yeah. we are going to be a provider for West Virginia. Um, but like you said, like St. Clairsville, Ohio is 15 minutes from, from where we're at. You know, we're in a really unique little strip here on the map. So we serve people from Brook, Hancock, Ohio uh, County in West Virginia, but also in Washington County, Pennsylvania and in Jefferson County, Ohio. So Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I look forward to hearing how families get connected with you and, and served well by Kleina Classes Shula. And um, I've learned something new today. Learned Good job on that. <laughs> you know, I did just see a quote uh, here recently, and it won't be a, a perfect quote, but I think it was by David Hicks, the author of Norms and Nobility. I don't know if you're familiar with that book, but he said the mark of an, uh, an immature or inexperienced teacher maybe is answering the question before it's asked. 
So I love, <laughs> there you I, go. I love the, the name and, and the reason behind that. So thanks so much for talking. For those of you who are watching, you can find more um, at kleinaclassa.com and reach out to Doc Miller to get your questions answered. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Jamie Buckland with the West Virginia Few. Thank you.